Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because yeah. I can. And I continue with Kingdom Come Deliverance, blind. I am going to pay a visit to my friends, Fritz and Matthew, who have taken up residence in the um, Tavern on the Green, which is like past Neuhof. Mm, and apparently, judging by some of the gossip I've heard, and also by the map markers, uh, they have a quest for me, so uh, let's see what kind of trouble are they in this time, because I very much assume it is some kind of trouble. They are rather troublesome folk, it seems. to you the farmer threw me out with my little girl the bastard he fathered it himself and then got rid of us so his wife wouldn't scratch his eyes out i hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the roadside i'd like to bring the children something better to eat than acorns haven't you got something for me sir food let me see Okay, it's not spoiled, so... What about this? Thank you, sir. Thank you a hundredfold. Hmm, where am I exactly? Am I right here? Uh, there is no shrine though, so yeah. I guess the answer is no. random woman living here. This is not, not the tavern. Has something happened? Well, I am kind of lost. I, I assume I'm over here, judging by this icon. So I need to go like left and continue left alongside the forest. Yeah, I, I am on the right track now. Yeah. And I think this is the tavern? How's it going? Good money, eh? What? What money? Oh, uh, look, yeah, go and talk to Matthew first. Well, all right. I'll have a beer. 
Certainly. I'll fetch it right away. Yep. Here's yeah. your share. Satisfied? My share of what? What the hell are you on about? My well, pleasure. that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Cheers. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole please. that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Where did you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy, but then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew? The innkeeper here. They say all sorts of things about him. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen. But when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. What now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... Uh, out with it, then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassau. So good that you punched a novice in the mouth. Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wasteful a thrashing, take his ring, and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. It's still robbery. Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? They fucking burned down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? Hmm. Yeah, like, if you want to just steal from the Cumans, then I guess, okay? They, they are invaders. They have invaded this land and are, and are slaughtering our people. Uh, so, you know, I might take the exception with that. But I somehow feel it won't end with that. And to be honest, it's not, not that easy to steal from Kumans anyway, because they are essentially soldiers, you know. They sleep in encampments, uh, f fully armed, and, you, you know, it's not like you can just creep into their home, because they don't have homes, they have camps, where usually, I suppose, someone keeps, keeps watch at night uh, or whatever, and obviously they are fully armed and dangerous. No, I do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. Let's chop those bastards to pieces, one after the other. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. I was wondering, did we all get equal shares? No, you got less, but still plenty. Well, all right then. To be honest, I don't really want any of that money, but I, it seems I can't give it back. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. Okay, I don't have enough. I want to achieve mastery. You can't become a master overnight. Well, I'll think it over. So, what's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew the innkeeper here could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right. I'll do that. Hey, 
Hey, twelve face. Why do we need Andrew at all? Without him, there'll be more left for us. In case you haven't noticed, everybody and his brother goes through this thing. Andrew knows everything that goes on in the county. And we'll have to fence the loot somewhere, and that's no easy matter. I hear you've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise, we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand? Exactly. So what's the problem? Uh, he reckons we're not up to it. You, you should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh, and tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you packing. Do you know how I might set about convincing Andrew? Mention money. That's all? Aye. Our oh, friend the innkeeper is as greedy as they come. My respects to you. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. That's right. Show me the way. Good luck to you. Here you are, and good health. So, Fritz sent you, did he? Aye, this was his idea. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old man, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? Hmm. To be honest, why would uh, Sir Radzi care that we are stealing from the Cummins? The Cummins are our enemies. If anything, he would approve of that because uh, that makes them less able to fight us. There's plenty of coin in it and almost no risk for you. So, there'd be a share in it for me? Hey, a handsome one. We'll see if you're up to it. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes or... Dress up as humans. What? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain's. And three sets of them. What? On account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Uh, Passers by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp. Oh, scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Nothing we can't handle. Hmm. Okay, there's one not far from here. To be honest, I already have one of those faceplate uh, face helmets. 
So I only need two and two suits of armor, but the armor doesn't have to be from a captain, right? What does the quest say? Mm. Three suits of common armor. If, just, if, if I just continue straight and then go right and right again, I should eventually happen across one of their camps. Yes, I'm currently over here, I guess. Which is good, because if I continue yeah. this way, I think I should ride into the zone. I, I turned onto the wrong uh, road. Yeah. Oh, okay, and I'm pretty sure this is, this is a common camp. So... I'll save, just in case. Because, mm, you know, there is a possibility of them actually killing me. Okay, I should probably wait with the looting until after I kill all of them. How do I have three? And I guess this helmet counts as well? Mm, the one I just looted off of the guy? 
but there might be one more common at the camp so I'll go and check or alternatively they might have some equipment in like a chest or something Okay, so I think I just need a helmet, right? Okay, that went pretty well. Let's go back. <laughs> to overload it. Okay, so I have to transfer it for the time being onto my horse. exactly sure where am I. I guess that's yet another common camp but where is it like on the map hmm. this lock is too difficult interesting Oh, 
Good boy. That's my boy. I've got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything? Is that enough? Th th that wouldn't make much sense. At the very least, you would need like the gambeson or, or like the tunic. It's kind of, mm, you know, distinct. But oh well. A whole bloody lot. Well then, let's see how you look in it. Is that it? it? It's a bit... Uh, Ordinary? Are you serious? I got it straight from the fucking humans. Oh, it's not exactly, uh... terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt's speckled hen. It just don't look much like a human to me. Have any of you actually seen a human? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Miramir's described them many times. Everyone knows cumans are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Miramir? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a cuman and he's lived to tell the tale. You can ask him yourself. Nah, what do they know? Oi, Henry. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? <laughs> so, so they want to like upgrade the the human disguise because because none of them has uh, none of them have really seen a human. Uh, so they are all uh, believing in those, mm, you know, in those far fetched tales of. How, how terrifying they're, they're, they supposedly are. So I guess they, they perhaps expected them to have like devil devil horns and like glowing eyes and you know fire like bursting from their mouths and whatever and like their armor being smeared with blood of Catholic children uh, or something. Uh, so that's actually quite hilarious. Thank <laughs> you. 
let's talk to that guy about how a real Kuman looks like. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. They tell me you've seen a lot of Cuman. They say you'd recognize one even in the dark. I certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair. Here you go. Thanks. What's your name anyway? Hmm. To be honest, Henry seems to be a common name, disregarding the fact that I'm not sure... Uh, oh, actually, the codex told me uh, the, the, the Czech version of the name is like Jindrich. Uh, but it seems to be a common enough name, so th there seems to be no harm in, in giving him my name. Henry. Hmm. Anyway. Not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna, when all of a sudden, a terrible storm came down. Hail, lightning, snow, the works. Snow? In summer? Don't interrupt. Where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We strayed off the path, couldn't see the ground beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, we heard singing. In the distance, we saw a fire in the clearing, with malevolent creatures ranged around it, singing demonic songs. <laughs> uh, these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow. Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? The big quiet. Anyway, as if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment, we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons? They were humans and a bunch of infants crying and sniffling. Uh, so, someone was feeling the cold. I'd have been shivering too. Snow doesn't do me any good, especially in summer. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with she-devils. We stood there paralyzed with fear until I, and I alone, managed to break out of the spell. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape since that time. I've been able to do nothing but sit here. I can't work since that awful shock. I'm probably still under a spell. Yeah, undoubtedly. Probably a spell of laziness. Listen, Milamir, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks from start to finish. What the hell would you know about it? I'm from fucking Scalitz. I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah, uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who'd appreciate it. Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumors about how frightening the humans look? Oh, the, the people from around these parts. But Bram, the charcoal burner told me about them. He lives in the woods near here. Then there's Olena, the wife of the Talmberg fisherman. And young Vashak, a stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he saw them too. Good luck, Ben. Okay, this is all stupid, because obviously I know what Kumans look like, because I've seen and killed like a hundred of them at this point. How'd you get so fucked up? See you later. <sighs> so... Mm, I'm over here. Okay, so I can go through the... I can make like a circle. Go through the forest, uh, talk to the charcoal burners, and then right to Ujitz, and then right through Talmberg. 
yeah. even though I still think this is all stupid because what what even is this supposed to accomplish? Like they are going to tell me some utter horseshit about about how commands are actually demons or whatever, and then I will have to like model my disguise after that. Like where's the logic in that? Like I guess the logic might be uh, the logic might be that yeah. if I just dress up as a regular Kuman, nobody will believe that that uh, those were the Kumans that, that robbed someone be because uh, they all have this exaggerated view of, of what a Kuman is. Okay, uh, looting the bodies at this point probably doesn't matter. God grants you health. How may I help you? They say you know what humans look like. I do. Once, when I was going alone through the dark woods... That's of no interest to me. Ah, uh, but... Look, save the tall tales to impress the wenches. I'm not interested. Well... Well... They're decked out in raven feathers because... Or so a black hen would do. But that wouldn't have magical powers. Right. 
See you later. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess there's one one plus. Find some black feathers. Uh, don't they have black feathers? Uh, there's one. No, I have white feathers specifically. Mm. Oh, I have raven feathers as well. Uh, there's one sort of uh, bonus yeah. of listening to all of those stupid tales. Uh, and that is that probably yeah. by the end I'm going to look utterly ridiculous. So there's like an added... Uh, wait. This is not the way though. Uh, not, not the yeah. way to Neuhof. Yeah, so I am going to look utterly ridiculous by the end of it, and it's going to be like an added comedic bonus to to all of this. showed him. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Okay, so he's at the tavern. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I hear you can tell me something about humans. No, sir. M my master would whip me for telling tall tales again. But really, it's all true. I won't hit you. Just tell me, is it the truth? Really, sir? I still see them every time I try to sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So what do the humans wear? They wear the skins of dogs hunted down in the night, so no weapon can hurt them. Right. One ale, please. Thanks. Hmm. Damn it. There were some dogs in their camps, uh, but I didn't skin them. Be kind of problematic to get. Uh, bandits sometimes keep dogs, and this is obviously the Kumans do as well, but it would ha have to happen across more of them. the tanner at Talmberg. Maybe he will have a dog skin to sell? 
Like, I don't think that's the type of skin that one would use very often, but, you know... Maybe I'll be lucky. Good evening. Uh, they say you know about humans. Fangs. They wear wolves fangs to make themselves invisible in the dark. Then they can creep around like beasts of prey as sneaky as death. Mm, that was quick. Fangs. Good luck then. Hmm. Get hold of some animal teeth. Mm, don't I have. I have tusks. It should be good enough, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so now that it does just a dog skin. Yeah. Uh, the tunnel lives somewhere on the other side of the village. I guess.
My humble greetings. How may I help you? Is there somewhere I could sleep here? I suppose I could find something. For how long? Just the one night. No problem. But you pay in advance. Here you go. You've got it all to yourself. No one will disturb you. Where do I go to sleep? In the loft. There's a door next to the chicken coop. Inside, there's a ladder up to the loft. You'll find it all set up for sleeping. Hmm, a ladder, you say? Jesus Christ, your clothes. Were you assaulted? Damn bandits. May they burn in hell. Take care. Mm, oh yeah, you do sell dog skins. Okay, so I have everything I need. I just need to get, get back to the tavern on the green, which is easiest done through uh, the huntsman's hut. Yeah. Yeah. That 
sounded like. Yeah. This episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye!